I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chalamet complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. with your Vovas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is balked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. <gasps> Comrades! Icarus platform residents and facility guests. The address... Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. Sailor or astronomer? With a thought device, comrades. Oh, it's too bad my social credit rating isn't high enough to get a thought device. No get yourself a thought. Right. 
There's just a few days until the new collective comes in. Imagine that. With a thought device, comrades. With a thought device, comrades. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. There's room. Uh, Please come back later. The next decrease in demand is expected in new performance at the Maya Tissot Sky Art Theater. My soldiers. about the history of facility 3826 hear about its great discoveries and everyone here seems so happy and content just like in china you've been to china comrade major i've been everywhere i mean everywhere except for china i guess facility 3826 isn't all that far from our chinese allies i like their spirit and i hear it's nice there indeed it is Look, Comrade Bond is known as a the failure. Come <laughs> when all the like a fried dildo? But why? It's a welder robot. If you ask silly questions, it'll fry your fanny. How rude. <laughs> You fought in the war, Comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy Critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Ah, whatever. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. Look at it. Such breath is of beauty. When I was little, I never dreamed people could soar so high or travel so far. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? or learn to play the piano. With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule.
just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Sinners! <laughs> yeah. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitri Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will finally change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention, the Europolymer's process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and work to the lobby of that high rise. Humans will be able to control their machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector, thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network so glad for to all see mankind you're and easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. The we must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. A powerful it's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not too late. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize 
literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0, our marvelous network, will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. Get your thought device today and become Homo Futuro. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. That's one hell of a car. But it's still an internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. You can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models today. This one's a gas dozen. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That'll be something. Yeah, that's right. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, with I just came from there. Get it. 
The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, 
nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trova is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Robin Hood's Boston facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, oh, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? 